Well, I know I found some Mars. And some cattle have turned up being mutilated, all bulls apparently, at Sylvius Valley Ranch in Oregon. This is 140,000 acres. A lot of it is, you know, it's forested. And here it is. Cattle sometimes die suddenly on the ranches. 140,000 acres in Harney County, struck by a disease or fell by a broken leg and unable to find way out of the rugged and forested terrain. But by the time ranch hands discovered four more dead bulls within 24 hours, they knew they were likely dealing with deliberate premeditated killings. They're still baffled by the circumstances. There were no wounds, no signs of struggle. And bulls' genitals and tongues have been carefully removed. This is the same old story. Uh, we've seen this before. Uh, cow, the cattle are simply killed. Cattle, sheep, whatever. And they have the genitals and tongues removed. That type of thing. And nobody can figure out how or why. This isn't, isn't anything new. We've heard this before. How somebody put these bulls on the ground in what would be arguably a fairly close range, do it in a way that didn't leave any signs, no trace evidence, no footprints, no struggle marks from the animal, no broken limbs. I have no idea, said Colvin Marshall, vice president of Sylvia's Valley Ranch. Well, these are bulls. Uh, for you city people, you try to sneak up on a bull, you're either going to wind up with some horns in your belly, or you're going to wind up being trampled, or both. They don't like being messed with. Mystery deepens because there's no obvious reason why someone would want those animal parts. They aren't prime targets for black market sales, authorities said. Well, this is black market sales. I mean, you take the entire carcass and you cut it up and you sell it. That's are eerily similar to rash of livestock killings and mutilations across the West in the 1970s, where hundreds of cows and bulls turned up dead, also of seemingly unknown causes, with their genitals and tongues missing. Back then, theories ran the gamut from the government conspiracy. UFOs, to natural deaths, and scavengers. Today, circumstances at Sylvia's Valley Ranch point to humans as probable culprits because of the price cuts on the bulls. Now, wait a minute. Uh, you're going to have to explain to me how it is somebody can sneak up on bulls and do this type of thing. I'm sorry. It's like I said. If you don't piss off a bull, it's going to charge you. You gotta be real careful. You gotta know what you're doing, or you're gonna wind up dead. It both weighs how much? A ton or something? And you're a little twerp? Sorry, you're gonna get run over. So there you have it. New set of cattle mutilations. I wonder if this could wind up uh, expanding. The experts can't explain it. They're claiming humans. I uh, tend to not think this. Until you uh, so-called experts can come up, can figure out how the animals were killed, which they can't it's going to remain a mystery. I mean, can't really blame aliens, can't blame humans. We're just going to have to wait and see. That's the way I uh, look at this. I'm Artifacts of Mars. Thanks for watching, and I just couldn't let this one go.